It's November 7th, <clears throat> 2015, day one of the garlic trials here in our garden off the side of the house. I just received this past week um, an awesome box of six different kinds, actually five different kinds. This is a Chilium Red, I got Lore's Italian. Uh, Thermadrone. These are all varieties that I picked. Uh, I think most of them are soft neck varieties of garlic that should do. This is music. That a lot of people seem to like that. It's a popular variety right now. And silver white is kind of your standard grocery store variety. And I still have some uh, elephant garlic inside that we I grew last year and did really well. It's not the greatest garlic for cooking and things, but it looks really nice in the garden. You get these enormous bulbs and it's just fun to pick. Um, so there's five in here. And with the elephant garlic, that'll be six. And I've got my bed. It's a four by 12 raised bed that we did sweet potatoes in this past year and had a good harvest, but they're done for the fall. And it's the end of the first week of November. Things are cooling down. So I'm going to fill it with garlic, and I'll put a quick plug in for, this is Fillery, if I'm pronouncing that right, Garlic Farm, that's a cool cover, out of, where's it out of, Washington? Yeah, Washington. So, not exactly local, but I'm hoping to, yeah, they shipped it uh, at the time that I should be planting, and it looks really it's really well packaged and labeled, which is nice. I haven't opened them yet. I'm going to do that pretty soon. Uh, so I'm hoping to put, see which of these six varieties do really well for us with our soil type and climate here in Georgia. And actually, if you, I've read that if you keep uh, propagating your own garlic year after year, they kind of uh, develop, uh, the varieties develop for your climate, kind of. I'm not explaining that well, but um, so I'm gonna get go ahead and section this off and label it and get all these in the ground and maybe I'll do a few extra videos and cut them into this one. Um, probably won't be harvesting till next June, but yep, day one garlic trials. Stay tuned. All right, it's a cloudy fall day here in Georgia. It's November twelfth. And I'm going to finally put this garlic in the ground. Uh, the last video I did, I just received the garlic. And we got about five or six days of solid rain. So I didn't want to put the bulbs in and have them sopping in wet soil for a whole week as their first week. So today I'm going to do that. I think we're going to have some dry weather eventually. Uh, just a quick uh, look at the other beds. They're doing well full of uh, kale and collards and lettuces, all kinds of fall crops. There's some early seeds coming up for mixed lettuces. So far the slugs are enjoying much more of it than I am. I'm trying to deal with that problem. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put these garlics in. I've got my 4x8 raised bed. I amended the soil a little bit. I'm going to try to uh, put more drainage capability into it, so I mixed some uh, vermiculite and some sand in there. Uh, my Some of my elephant garlics that I was my first garlic experience last year ended up rotting when I harvested them. Not too many, but uh, I think that might have been a... my soil might have been retaining too much moisture. But here's uh, my wife braided some of the garlics and we've eaten a few. These are all elephant garlics that did really well last year. So this year yeah, I'm going all in. Uh, again, I'll put a plug in for Fillery Garlic Farm out of Washington. This I'm not uh, associated with them, but and this is my first year ordering, but so far I'm really impressed. They have a nice few pages in the back of this catalog that show you the depths and the times for your areas and all kinds of planting and harvesting instructions, which uh, I've had issues with ordering plants in the past. I've ended up going googling to see how to plant them so it's a nice thing for them to do so i got six sections i'm gonna 
Put my elephant garlic from last year here. This is a silver white. It's kind of a normal garlic. This is a thermodrone. It's supposed to do well in the south. This is Lore's Italian uh, Chilium Red. And this is a music varieties. And I'm doing this video just as much for me uh, to keep track of this as to kind of uh, see how this experiment goes. I'm going to label these divider sticks, but uh, I've had those get reorganized in the past. You never know what will happen, so these videos help. Uh, so I'm going to divide these cloves up and space them out. And uh, I don't know, I might do another video when they pop up, or I might just wait till maybe June when I have a whole bed of beautiful garlic. Okay, I got all uh, six, yeah, six, all six uh, varieties of garlic in the ground. In case you're wondering, those bags that I got from Fillory, um, I ordered a quarter pound of each, and it turned out to be uh, about one, maybe one and a half bulbs, depending on the variety, but each one filled up, uh, this is approximately eight square feet, and I planted them. A little more than one per square foot. I should have shown you that, but they're about six or seven inches apart between bulbs, and I spaced them out, marked them off, and I put a really light, maybe an inch coat of the straw that I mulch that I had laying around, just uh, more for what I read to keep the soil down here south from getting too hot and them from growing too quick this fall. Uh, than actually to keep them warm this winter. We don't have an issue with that. Um, so yeah, that's it. So now I'm just going to, now that I got all the garlic in, I'm just going to bake it at Georgia temperatures for all winter and spring, and hopefully I'll be here in June. And this will be a field of amazing garlic, and I'll be able to kind of test the varieties and see which do best in my area and surprisingly I might have a oh geez uh, I might have a baby girl before that so that's crazy this year I'm planning things and uh, might have a new member of the family before I even harvest those are my Thanksgiving turkeys that's another video but they're excited too about this garlic um, no, that's it I promise no more videos until possibly the harvest or maybe when they pick up that might be exciting enough for a video